But okay, what were some of the what were some of the adjustments you had to make? So obviously the first day the weather was welcomed you brilliantly. That's how you welcome someone into the UK, <laughs> rain and cold. <laughs> um yeah, what were some of the other adjustments? So how did you get over that first day feeling of you wanted to leave? Obviously friends help. But what else did you have to do? Um yeah, I so I went to my student accommodation and I met this Brazilian girl that like also really helped mm. and I joined the Brazilian society like I met lots of friends mm. I ended up joining the committee and I stayed until like I graduated mm -hmm. but I didn't know how to cook I had never lived by myself so and I didn't really know how to dress for winter mm -hmm. and I I want to say that I learned that but <laughs> during <laughs> But still, I dress for winter. I dress for summer. But in my first year, I had ramen like every day, like yeah. in the microwave. So did I. To be fair, first yeah, year uni is crazy. Yeah, just ramen and cereal and bagels. Wait, ramen and cereal? No, not together. Okay. <laughs> I was like, is that no. a Brazilian thing. No, but like some days you're like, ah, uh, let me just have cereal for Wait, dinner. How do you make your cereal? With milk. But how do you make the milk? I I don't put the milk in the microwave because I'm not crazy. But that's what you're supposed to do. No, right? that's not you're supposed right. Supposed to put the milk in the microwave. You just have cold milk. It's just not right, Jeff. Straight from the fridge. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, and I didn't learn how to dress for winter. I was really cold for a year. And what was the third thing I said? Living alone. Yeah. Uh, it was yeah. I just I powered through. I think nowadays I'm better. Like I can cook a few things. Yeah, yeah. Like rice and chicken and vegetables. Did you miss home the first couple of months? yeah it was awful i was like i had a countdown app on my phone and it was like days to go back to brazil <laughs> Count down to when though what was it counting down to because I, I arrived in september and i was leaving in december so it was oh like a countdown God. of the days for like 11 or oh, three months three months Damn. yeah so i had that countdown but how so what would you, but you got out of that through friends and stuff like that right friends helped and then you just started liking the days or did that not change uh my first semester was really like i met a lot of people in my accommodation we would go to loads of parties there was yeah. fun stuff but also i really missed home and i still had the f the countdown app on my phone do you still have it today yes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> what are you coming down to to go back to here's, a, here's another question here's another question then oh uh, yeah so okay what were some of the main differences you've noticed now that you've been here for five years i'm um, between brazil and england or some of the big things maybe culture maybe people even though that's the same thing yeah what's some of the big differences you've noticed a lot um the thing that most annoys me is that close like things just close so early Here? yeah like parties will finish at like 1 a.m 2 a.m and that's like the time we're leaving home to go to a party in brazil why though it's too late like you we're just talking about it now that you're older you don't want to fucking Go and do shit. But, like, if I want to go to a bar, I don't want to be kicked out at, like, 12. Yeah, go to sleep. It's no. cold. No. It's cold, exactly. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, you would only want to be inside. But what are you doing in the bar from, like, that late, though? What, you should be... what? That's the time you go to a bar. You'll go to a bar at, like, 11. And then stay until... Like, 2? In Brazil. Yeah, or later. It depends on the bar. Um, things here are so expensive. Yeah. It's actually like really crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially in London, everything. Yeah, crazy it's expensive. really expensive. The parties in Brazil are much better. Obviously. Obviously. Why? Because what was it like? What, take me, take me there. Imagine I've never been to a Brazilian party before. Set the scene for me. You, you walk in. What's it like? Um, the music is a million times better. Um. What is it, Anita? Anita, Anita, Luisa Sonza, Pedro Luisa Sampaio, Sean Paul, Sean Paul, <laughs> <laughs> no, not Sean Paul. Um, it's just like the vibe is much better. It's yeah. it's more fun. Um, people are actually like having fun. Yeah, that's the that's my biggest gripe with London, especially when it comes to parties. Everyone here just wants to look like they're having fun. They care too much about the perception of other people. So they just stick into little rigid boxes of I can't I can't even dance. Like why are you not even dancing? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like just give me that I little know. bit of anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's my little 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 <laughs> complaining about London London thing. Um so that's yesterday. The parties are different, uh the it's expensive, the people 
Um, what else? You got any, any more? What are some of the other differences you've noticed? Did I say the weather? The weather is kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> um, a positive difference. Positive difference, yes. Yeah. There's a lot more to do here. It's really? much safer. Yeah. Like, I would never walk by myself on the street in Brazil. You shouldn't walk by yourself here either, to be fair. I walk by myself here. Like, how am I supposed to get home from the tube station? Uber. Uber, I'm going to take an Uber from the tube station to my house for eight minutes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you're right. It's, well, it's in Brazil, you would definitely, you wouldn't even do that. No, I would take an Uber for eight minutes. Really? Yeah. Is that bad? Yeah. Depends, like, if it's in my streets, like, yeah. okay, but it's, you're kind of just restricted to the places you can go to. Like, I wouldn't go to the center because that's mm. really dangerous. Okay. So what advice would you give to someone on how to adapt to British culture from another culture? Say they're coming from Brazil, for example. Well, how, how would they adapt? Um, dress properly, because I suffered. <laughs> Get a kettle, because if you don't have a kettle, people are going to judge you. Get a rice cooker. Get a rice cooker. Don't know how you don't have <laughs> That is insane. That's uh, literally insane. <laughs> Get used to not knowing when people are joking. <laughs> that's, that's just us. Awesome. <laughs> because the british humor is really different and it's like really dry and it's sarcastic and, and it's self-deprecating yeah, yeah and it's very different to brazilian humor what's brazilian humor what even is it's it? just normal humor what's normal humor i don't know it's just like we don't really do the sarcasm thing like dry is it just normal humor there's no such thing as normal humor anyway, sorry my bad Go on, keep going. um understanding the slang yeah, also because yes. what's cause your favorite english slang Peak. I think I taught you that one. You told me that one, yeah. <laughs> um, what other slang do I like? Uh, bloody hell. <laughs> That's not really slang. It's just you just said something in, Brit- in, 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 in British. In British accent. Yeah. Um, yeah. To adapt to British yeah, culture. Yeah. What advice would you give them? Oh, to adapt to? get used to not having real meals because people would just have like a meal deal for lunch and it's like a sandwich and like crisps and a drink and it's just like you're gonna have to get used to that yeah because that's not the same in brazil i'm guessing no in brazil like we'll just have rice beans and meats and vegetables or salad like every day that's what i still do literally i bring a massive tub of rice and um wherever 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 i'm gonna add to it but like in brazil you don't have to do that you can just buy it at like the shops you not at the shops you, you'll you go to like a it's not a bar but like a yeah, kind of like a bar. Mm. You have a thing called PF Prato Feito, which is like a made dish, and it'll cost maybe like 10 pounds oh, wow. or less. Really? So yeah. in Ghana, you've got these people in the streets. They're not even like proper businesses, and they'll just literally make food, and they'll do that. They'll just make just people who just, I guess, had the ingredients, went outside, made the food, and they'll just sell it for cheap. Yeah, exactly. And when I was at my job in Brazil, they would actually, in Brazil, there's this law where they have to give you money to buy lunch. That's so nice. At your work. So I would just like use my little card with my money that they gave me and just get like a plate, like oh. a real food <laughs> Real plate. food, yeah, yeah, yeah. So have real food, um, dress for the weather, learn the slang. Um, what, I think that's... I think that's what get a said. kettle. Get a kettle and a rice cooker. Very important. Rice yeah. Cooker. And um, go out and have fun. Meet new people. Yeah. How do you meet? Here's a question then. Most people, I have, I'm have, i having conversations with people now and they're questioning me of how to meet new people. Mm. I have a lot of people, a lot of friends who, who ask this question and sometimes they say, uh, is it a guy thing? Is it a girl thing? But um, what do you think? How do you, do you think it's age? Do you think it is hard to meet new people in London um, as or as we get older? And um, what advice would you give to people to get themselves out there and meet new people? Um, I think it is harder to meet new people as you get older because...